7.1 notes, solving systems of two equations. This is mostly going to be review. Of algebra one. And two. I think you go yeah. over to get an algebra two. But yeah. uh, stick with us anyway just to make sure you know what you're doing. And there are a few things that will trip you up. So Right. Like example two is not an algebra one question. Right. But let's, let's but just start off easy let's with do it. example one. Solve using the substitution method. That method means you take one equation and solve it for a variable and then plug it into the other one. Substitute it into the other one. So we can solve either for x or y, doesn't matter. Do you have a doesn't preference? Doesn't matter at all. Uh, how about let's solve for, for x just for kicks and giggles. By the way, while Mrs. Stevenson's working this out, the, uh, substitution is a skill that is very, very handy when you get into calculus. And this is where the base for what you will do as a u sub later, the base of that comes from being familiar with this. So this is a really important thing to take with you into calculus. Right. Being able to substitute things and, and see things like that, super helpful. So I substituted the four minus y into the x for the first equation. So now to finish solving this, I distributed. Now I have like terms that I have to add. And just put them all together. Now it's an algebra one question and we, and we solve that sucker for y and, and we'll get a final answer. Negative but, five we'll, y but we'll only be partial. Uh, 14? Is that right? 22 minus 8 is 14? Uh, I believe so, yes. Oh no, a fraction. Oh my gosh. It'll be alright. We'll live. So y is negative 14 over 5, so we take that and we plug it back in to find what x is. Typically, if you're using substitution, there is an easiest place to do that because we already mm -hmm. solved for x earlier. Right. So if we put that in, like a so... We just got to change, change. Change, change. Click, click, or whatever. Whatever. For those of you that. Uh, that. This 4 needs to have a 5 on the bottom, so that's going to make it be 20 over 5. Plus 14 over 5. Right. Which gives us. 34. And what we've done here is we have found the place where the line 2x minus 3y equals 22 and the line x plus y equals 4 have intersected. Right, that's what we that's one of the the things about solving these systems is you are finding points of intersection between different graphs. So, example 2. It's going to be the same, but now it's a little bit different because if you'll notice, we've got y equals and hey, we've got y equals on both of these. There you go. So, so it would actually be really easy to plug these into your graphing calculator, right. but it does ask us to do it algebraic. Right. So if y equals negative x squared, we can put that right here where this y That's is. That's correct. Or we could write it the other way around, either way. But if they're already both solved for y, don't be silly and solve something for no, x. No, no, don't, yeah, don't do that, don't do that. To solve this algebraically, this was a while ago that we did this. We want to get everything on one side of our equation. Right. So 0 equals x cubed plus 2x squared. And then factor out the greatest common factor, which in this case would be the x squared. Right. We can't do the 2 because there's only 1. Yeah, this has a 2, but this doesn't. Right. So you factor out the x squared, and that leaves you with x plus 2. And then you set each part of that equal to 0. Right. So that you get x equals 0 and x equals negative 2. And if you can remember way back when, uh, we have multiplicity here at Right, zero. we do have multiplicity at zero, so that's where the graph theoretic. well, but we're substituting, so yeah, I don't know if, I don't know if that works out that way. But, but we do technically get an answer of zero twice. It just right. doesn't matter that Right, it doesn't it matter. Twice. And again, this is where these two graphs are meeting. Are meeting, is like that intersect each other. x equals zero and x equals negative two, so we right. need to go and plug in the y value, plug in these to find the y values that go the, with them. Right. So I would I pick the second definitely one. Definitely pick the second one because there's only one thing there to do. So when I plug in zero, I get zero. So one of our answers Jeez, excuse me. is zero a, comma zero. Excuse me, I had a I sneeze. It's this wind today. Yeah. It's blowing my allergies crazy. Plug in negative two. Oh, and I missed out on the negative that's in front. Negative, yeah, the negative is in, parentheses negative and then, two. And then the negative two is your actual number. It goes in the parentheses. Right. So negative two when you square it is positive four, but there's a negative in front. So that makes it negative four. So there you go. So negative two, negative four is our second point. You might think about going ahead and putting that in and seeing if you feel like that's legitimately what your graph is showing you. If you want to, no big deal. It's a good and it's good practice. Good practice. Yeah. Example three: solve using the elimination method. That's, this is a little different. It is, and I actually most of the time find the well, 
yeah, most of the time find the elimination method, the easier way to go. What you're trying yes. to do is eliminate either X or Y. And so to do that, you multiply either one or both equations or neither. If by a nice, number. By a number so that you end up with the same number in front of either X, both when of the X's or the, the Y's. When you add the columns up. Yeah, when you add the columns up, they should get rid of each other. So what we're saying, we could easily do this for X or for Y, but I'm, I'm thinking, why not multiply the first equation by two? That'll give us a two Y here, so that right. when we add them, those That's will cancel out. That's a brilliant, uh, brilliant plan. So, so four X plus two Y equals 20. Now, one of the most common mistakes to make when you're doing this is- To not multiply all the to, way through. Is to not multiply all the way. You'll forget that the 10 also needs to be multiplied right. by two, so. And, and we're not allowed to just put a two somewhere willy-nilly in an equation. We have to do no. this to everything in there. Right, right. Now, add these equations together. So five X. Five X. Zero. Okay, zero y, so we'll skip that. And Negative 15. five plus 20, 15, divide by five, and x equals three. Yeah. That's nice, now we have to plug back in and it doesn't matter where we do. I it think doesn't, so that's that's the beauty of this one is it, you can't go wrong when you plug back in. Right, typically it's easiest to plug it into one of your first equations because typically those have smaller numbers. Right. So I picked the very first one here because I know the y doesn't have a coefficient and I figured that'll make solving easier. Right. So six plus y equals 10. So y is uh, four. That's right. And again, that's where the lines intersect. So we're finding a point of intersection when we solve these systems. Absolutely, yeah. more to come. In more, just to, a more to come.